Hey there, Internet, and welcome to the fourth devlog. You may have noticed that there wasn't a devlog last week. This is because I shifted gears a little bit uh, to check out and explore some other game engine possibilities. So why would I want to check out other game engines? Uh, basically, I wanted to check out and make sure that uh, Unity, which I'm currently using, is actually the best option going forward, since the game is still pretty young. Um, I have made pretty good progress so far, but I just wanted to make sure that this is actually the best thing possible for the game's development. Um, so what was the option that I actually pursued? Um, through my research, I didn't really want to spend a ton of time researching all the different possibilities that were out there. Um, I just wanted to research basically what was the equivalent, um, or what was the best option really for 2D game development, which as you can see pretty clearly that this is, this game is 2D. Game Maker Studio is probably one of the best, um, competitors to Unity in my opinion, uh, when you, when it comes to making 2D, uh, games. So that's actually what I checked out. And I spent a good part of last week checking that out and just kind of giving it a really good shot as to uh, seeing what I could make uh, with uh, Game Maker. So what actually made me check out Game Maker? Why was why did Unity even give me a reason to want to check out something else? Well, as you may know or may not, uh, Unity is a primary or was primarily a 3D game engine, and as of recently, it started adding in um, a lot of 2D features. So that was kind of what got me. Uh, in the mindset that maybe Unity wasn't the best option, uh, especially if I could uh, find better success or just a better development workflow in Game Maker, since I may not have to solve some 2D specific problems if Game Maker uh, would actually allow allow me to uh, work through problems that I just wouldn't run into with Unity. So after checking out Game Maker for quite a, quite some time. Um, most of last week, like I said, um, I did come across a few issues with Game Maker that kind of that have kind of led me to want to actually switch back and fully devote uh, my game development time in Unity only. So why would I choose Unity when I was just saying that Game Maker is a primarily uh, 2D game engine that uh, should give me everything that I would need? So what what is the advantage there that uh, Game Maker isn't making up for. Well, with Unity, I actually have all this progress made already, so I wouldn't have to be duplicating work. One thing that I noticed with Game Maker was it wasn't actually as performant as Unity is, at least on my machine. Through my research, I, I'm pretty confident that Game Maker actually only runs, or, or primarily runs on the CPU, versus Unity using the GPU primarily. And so maybe that's why the performance of Game Maker was not as good on my computer versus uh, another computer that might have a better CPU. So maybe that's not as big of a deal, but for me, using this computer, it might not be as nice to use as Unity, for example. Um, and one thing that I did notice is Unity allows me to code in a separate editor. So I'm not tied to a specific Unity editor, for example, which uh, that's actually what Game Maker uh, was uh, forcing you to use, more or less. Um, they have a nice built-in editor um, right into the application, so you don't actually have to go out to a separate program to edit code or scripts or whatnot. It's all built in, which is nice, but it's also not as nice because you can't actually choose another option if you're not completely satisfied with Game Maker's implementation of uh, source code editing. So overall, we'll continue development process in Unity. It was nice to check out Game Maker and to kind of give me the reassurance that Unity is actually a very good option for what we're trying to do, and it'll just allow us to not have to, I guess, have that in the back of our minds that we could be more efficient, possibly, if we were using something else. So I have been working on one thing that I want to show you guys, um, and that's scene transitions. So I've been walking around here for a little bit, but if I actually move over uh, and go to the right of the screen here, you'll see that there's a little transition animation where the screen wipes with black and then 
uh, undoes that uh, black a little bit and shows that there's a new level. So this is very basic level, it just has a lake in the middle and a few goblins over to the right. But this is just an example that I'm able to move from one scene to another. And again, yeah, these scenes are just for development purposes and there's quite a few bugs going on with the companion's AI. She's moving around almost too much, so we'll have to look at that as well. But another thing um, with the scene transitions is it does understand which direction I'm leaving the scene from. So I actually made another scene above this. So if I move up, you'll see that there's a different transition. So there's a vertically uh, covering uh, that happens here. And so that's pretty cool. So these transitions, they work. They allow you to animate between scenes. So the swipe up animation is a pretty nice um, transition for moving between scenes. Um, it understands the direction that you're moving in, which is kind of nice. Gives the game a little bit more um, aesthetic in that uh, instance. Um, so for this scene, um, I'll probably add in a cabin in the middle right here is what I'm thinking. So I can uh, test out transitions between buildings. Uh, but then after that, I think that's pretty much it for the scene transitions um, after I've modified the animation a little bit more slightly. So that's exciting that um, those will be out of the way. It'll allow me to develop some more intentional levels than just kind of slamming everything into a scene like you can see in that main scene. I have just all the enemies and uh, a few of the NPCs. So there's just a lot going on. Um, and it'd be better, I think, to just add in the different components into their own scene, um, just allowing the game to feel a little bit more uh, like a game instead of just a big collection of um, uh, features. So this is pretty much all I have for this week. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update as to why there wasn't a devlog last week. Um, the development is continuing and is moving forward good, just like you are seeing here. The transitions are working pretty well. Um, like I said, the, the animation isn't perfect. I would prefer the black to continue to move to the right instead of uh, go back towards the left when you actually get to the next scene. Uh, but that's uh, one thing I can work on, and hopefully I'll have that done for the next uh, update. But thank you so much for watching. Um, you can follow us along on Twitter. Uh, we post uh, there as well as Facebook, just updates throughout the week as we complete different tasks. We also post updates to our blog there. Um, so just check us out there if you're interested in uh, following the development of this game. Uh, thank you so much for watching again, uh, and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in future development.